Hey guys, Dan with Ninja Caters here, back with another market profile session for October 11th, 2023. Today is a Wednesday, and we had some wild news today at 7.30, and then again at 1 o'clock uh, with the FOMC meeting minutes released. So we're watching here on the screen, we're watching the final uh, minutes of the, um, the market tick down here as we're now approaching the 330 mark. And the level I called out yesterday was 44.19 was my trigger to the upside. And we have ticked right to it. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna stop right there. So the bullishness, the, the breach that we needed for the bullish side up uh, did not happen today. It did not mean that there weren't trading opportunities. There were several of them here today uh, throughout the day. Uh, but let's go to a market profile here. So what did we really have? We had uh, the most volume here closer to the top go off, but we had um, the market news or the London session pop us up. Then we had the uh, 7.30 news move to the downside and then pop us back up. And then we just kind of dropped all day long until the FOMC meeting minutes hit right here at one o'clock and we reversed back up and shot straight up to prior day high, which is this level right here. So <clears throat> what does that mean moving forward? Well, we had an inside day today. We were in a very bullish market here. So um, if we get a nice breach above 44.19, um, I will want to see us go back up to is a, the strong likelihood we're going to go retest this 44, uh, 40 two level right here the structure level that i have built in here if we fail above here a good strong chance that we have um you know if, if 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 we do fail there's a good strong chance we could come back here and take out um today's low and then we 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 did not really reclaim 4400 we kind of did but not really because we didn't get a close above this wick right here uh which would have confirmed a a a 4400 reclaim so um, again tomorrow morning we have uh, some more news uh, hitting at 730 we have the CPI report coming out again uh, let's go and look at the day's reports and see what kind of volatility so here was the one o'clock move you had a nice volume spike and just a rip to the upside for the rest of the afternoon that was these are five minute candles by the way <clears throat> and then at 7.30 this morning, you had uh, some nice volatility a, at 7.30. This is pre-market uh, data coming in here. So you have just some wild moves uh, chopping. And then you can see, then the rest of the day just consistently chopped um, until that one uh, chopped to the downside. And then that 130 move rotated us back to the upside. So uh, an inside choppy mess of a day, but we did finish with a bullish day candle. Um, and again, uh, I'm going to be neutral until I see that 730 CPI report released. And then I will uh, make my decisions. So um, trigger again is this 4419 to the upside. And then if we fall hard below this 4400 level, the psych level, uh, some bullish or some excuse me some bearishness can uh, can start to set in with a strong push below here so uh, again I'm neutral until that 730 news hope that helps good luck happy trading